Now, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has assured that a binational commission between South Africa and Nigeria will bring an end to the destruction of property of Nigerians resident in South Africa and their protection. The Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Ambassador Mustafa Suleiman, made this known in Abuja as he briefed the Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs on the development in South Africa and steps taken by the federal government to intervene in the crisis. Ambassador Suleiman said no Nigerian's life was lost in the latest violence, but confirmed some of them lost property and livelihood. He said steps are being taken to ensure those willing to return to the country are brought home safely. We told our committee, or my committee, the Committee on Foreign Affairs in the Senate, has not made any statement on the events and the happenings in South Africa. I thought the best thing to do is to invite the foreign minister to come and brief the Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs, the exact happenings, and what the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has done on its part. Unfortunately, the foreign ministers, both of them, the minister and the minister of state, have traveled out of the country on this appointment, and uh, they are on their way to New York General Assembly, United Nations General Assembly. So, but the ministry is adequately represented by its permanent secretary. Now, the first line of encouragement we had was that no Nigerian life was lost. We are trying to cross over and make sure that we have subsisting agreements that will address this issue now and in the future and all other issues that we feel should be part of the definition of the relationship between Nigeria and Southern Africa, which I think in the last few years we have not had uh, because, like I said, this is an emerging phenomenon. Xenophobia attacks, they have been happening over time, but this is probably the, the climax of it where it has really come to, to, to the fore that there is need for more serious government, especially South African government intervention to ensure the protection of Nigerian citizens in Southern Africa. But clearly it requires some kind of documentation, some kind of understanding between the two countries as to how this can be remedied.